Good afternoon, everyone. Today, our topic is online market research, chapter number seven. First of all, our learning objectives. Number one, to understand the advantages and the disadvantages of online survey and their focus groups. Number two, to learn how to design an online survey using Quadrics. Advantages of online surveys. Number one, rapid deployment, real-time reporting. Now, obviously, the online surveys, one of the biggest plus is that it's fast. You can deploy your surveys very fast to thousands of people, and also you can re uh, review your results as instantaneously as you know the, the people filling out the surveys. Next advantage is that obviously reduce the costs. An online survey now actually the uh, costs much less than the offline surveys. And obviously with uh, increasing use of the service soft design software is actually getting much cheaper. The third is about the personal personalization. So in the traditional surveys, if you want to design a personalized a version of survey, it takes lots of more money and also it's very complicated. But with online survey technology, you can customize your survey in many different ways. Uh, we'll, uh, you guys will see how you can personalize your uh, surveys uh, when you uh, watch a video on how to design a uh, survey using Quadrics. Next uh, big advantage is that uh, online surveys, especially if you have a panel or have a targeted list, you can take a high response, you can take those responses real uh, fast and also response rate tend to be much higher. And next advantage is that uh, online surveys allow you to contact the, the people that are hard to reach and uh, especially for uh, some professional, business professionals, if you want to talk to business professionals and then they can take the online survey um, during their own time. And the last one is that uh, online surveys allows the panel management much easier. And the panel management, we're, what we're talking about, basically uh, all those the bigger research firms like uh, Ipsos and also the uh, American Family Panel, uh, American opinion, Family Opinion Research, they maintain a large a number of uh, members that belong to something called a panel, and which they can tap into to get the feedback or get the responses from in for different kinds of tests. For example, new product launches, or sometimes you can do uh, political. Uh, polls as well, and in old days you you have you depend upon the um, telephones and also depend upon the snail mail to manage communicate with panel members. Nowadays, all you need to do is just through the email, and it's very cost effective, and also it's fast. Obviously, online survey research has its own. Disadvantages. Number one is uh, talk about a misrepresentation. Basically, uh, cannot be used in all countries in the sense that uh, uh, some countries they still have a low uh, internet penetration. Obviously, uh, you cannot get a, a representative sample from a population. Number two is that talk about the unrestricted internet sample. Anyone who wishes to complete the questionnaire may do so. So problem will come, and uh, you know you don't know who actually thought of the survey. Number two is that uh, uh, people can access survey again and again. That's a big problem, obviously. And number three, a problem is that too broad. Difficulty may occur in gathering data for small and local companies, and this data might be possible, might not be possible to collect on the internet. So, for example, if you have want to collect the information on a very uh, like small town, for example, and then it's very difficult to get to those those uh, 
a, a good a sample size. And the next disadvantage to talk about lack of callback. Obviously, uh, online surveys just uh, it doesn't allow you to uh, have open-ended responses, uh, which you can get those responses if you do, like say, telephone calls, phone call survey. And next uh, problem is that the kind of programming errors. Basically, what it is that uh, it's it's the problems when when the respondent taking survey, or when the data is processed and then they got a, some kind of inherent problems in the design of the survey questionnaire itself. You know, there might be some problems. And the last one is the lack of bandwidth. Some respondents cannot download photos or complete survey in a timely fashion. Now, obviously, uh, in America, probably uh, the bandwidth issue is getting uh, less uh, concerning because of the uh, large penetration and also, uh, you know, like a dial-up internet connection is a really, really small percentage. Okay, let's move on to talk about the focus groups. Now, focus groups, as you guys know already, right? So it's like eight to twelve people or participants um, join a group discussion with a moderator. Obviously, typically lasts like ninety minutes, and you can move the focus group online. As obviously, number one thing is that uh, costs. You know, they're really. Uh, you can get those folks group uh, participants really cheaper than offline. And number two is that you don't have a geographic barrier, meaning that you can literally have uh, participants from all over the country and join the group discussion. And number two is that folks group can also be conducted real quickly, just like uh, offline folks group. Uh, folks group also allows you to have uh, new ideas. It's basically it's a group discussion allows you to have some brainstorming and try to get uh, ideas from each other, uh, take advantage of the group dynamics. And also a uh, folks group can help uh, enhance other data collection methods. For example, you can do you can help enhance the survey research methods or observation research methods. And also, folks who uh, also allow participants to provide uh, valuable information for the next phase, typically is the uh, quantitative research, you know, like server research. This is the advantage of folks group, online folks group. Now, just like, uh, uh, just, uh, just like uh, the uh, Offline folks groups, online folks group has its own problems of or disadvantages. Number one is that uh, the loss of group hands-on dynamic. Now, if you have a folks group discussion uh, and online, and many times that uh, that uh, interaction uh, facilitated by a uh, moderator may not be that uh, interactive or dynamic as it should be. And number two, talk about a focus group, obviously. When you talk about a focus group, definitely interpretation is more subjective. And uh, when you also have online focus group that uh, you're less likely to be able to, to introduce project techniques. Because, you know, you guys have, if you're familiar with chapter number five, I believe we talked about the uh, project techniques. Techniques like, uh, for example, you do some photo sorts, and you know you cannot do it effectively in an online environment. And the next disadvantage is obviously about security, and sometimes you don't know who is at the computer. Meaning that uh, if you don't have visual visual identif identification, now remember sometimes they do folks groups that. Uh, Mean online folks group without involving the video, so that's why you have a security issue. Also, uh, nonverbal inputs will be generate generally often missed, meaning that uh, uh, if especially if you don't have uh, any visual interaction and a video, then you only have uh, a verbal uh, talking back and forth. That can be a uh, missing lots of. Uh, uh, 
nonverbal communication cues or signals. And obviously, uh, the bigger problem with uh, online folks group that, that people tend to drift away from the topic, you know, because uh, when you're online, in the online setting, then people's attention span tend to be uh, shorter and then they don't want to uh, continue. And uh, another disadvantage, obviously, talk about is the uh, client observation of a folks group. One of the big motivation for clients to be engaged in a folks group discussion is that they can observe in real time how their brands are being discussed, uh, talked about, commented. So they, they can they really see what's going on. But with online, it's much more difficult to observe. And obviously, folks group can be misused as a representative of the population. Now, this is obviously always the problem of quality research. You have small sample size, you think it's going to be representative of a population, but more often than not, it's, it's going to be a problematic if you want to apply to the whole population. And also, online folks do uh, present a difficulty for you to expose a uh, stupid line. For example, if you want the people to sample some uh, products, for example, you know, if you, if you especially food, or a drink, and then it's, it's difficult to get that kind of uh, uh, setup going on. And uh, folks group, uh, one of the big adventures about folks group is that uh, the moderator uh, plays a huge role in, sh in moving forward the group discussion. As a matter of fact, the, 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 the success of folks group, uh, offline folks group in particular, depends on the skills of a, of a good moderator. But now with the online environment, the moderator plays a much less important role. Now, the second part of this video I want you to, to, to do is that actually, uh, instead of me actually recording a video how to design uh, online survey using Quadrix. I find the two videos that are wonderfully made and probably better than mine uh, in terms of uh, how to design an online survey using Quadrix. So, so I, I think I'm going to just uh, have you guys watch these two videos. Uh, click on the link. Quadrix beginner a tutorial, it's very basic level of, of the video, allows you to design a basic, a simple online survey. Uh, by simple, I mean that it's, it doesn't have lots of uh, uh, con uh, advanced features like uh, a, a logic, for example. Uh, if the answer to the question number one is yes, and then you continue, if the answer is no, you skip all the way down to question number 15. So that kind of logic will be discussed in advanced quadrix techniques. In fact, as advanced quadrix techniques, the second video is very, very comprehensive in terms of uh, uh, teaching you lots of more techniques. So where do you find your uh, folk, uh, like quadrix? Now, let me just show you uh, this is the, our portal, right? The portal. You log into your portal, and then you go all the way down to the queue, the apps, right? So the Quadrix, right? If you watch it right here, and then what you do is that you log into Quadrix. You know, if, you know, obviously, if you're on the portal, you log into Quadrix. Right now, I'm logging. Okay, log into Quadrix, and then as you can see, this is the Quadrix right here. And then I actually, in the last couple of years, I have lots of projects going on, especially in the country image studies I've, I've finished. So, uh, and then obviously you can you can do with like say create a new project right right here, and then and then you say well create your 